In this video, we are going to talk about the lifestyle of Chris Pine. So before starting this video like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Chris Pine or Christopher Whitelaw are two names that come to mind. Pine is an American actor who is best known for his roles in films such as Star Trek and Wonder Woman. He was born in Los Angeles, California. Pine comes from a celebrity-studded family. His father and mother are both actors, and his grandmother was also a well-known actress in her own right during the time period in which he was born. Chris began working in the professional world in 2003. In an episode of the television series ER, he appeared in the role of Levine. Pine's first feature film role was in The Princess Diary 2, Royal Engagement, which was released in 2008. He has also appeared in a number of popular television shows, including The Guardian and CSI, Miami. In 2009, he received critical acclaim for his performance as James T. Kirk in the critically acclaimed science fiction film Star Trek. He went on to reprise the role in a number of Star Trek film sequels that followed. In 2011, it was reported that he would be portraying the superhero Green Lantern in the upcoming film Green Lantern. Although this rumor was true at the time, the role was later played by Ryan Reynolds, proving that it was not true. Green Lantern was a colossal failure that is still being made fun of today. Chris Pine is widely regarded as a talented actor who has demonstrated his abilities in a number of films. He has wowed both the audience and the critics with his superb acting abilities and stunning physical appearance. Following his performance as Steve Trevor in the film Wonder Woman, he gained widespread recognition. Chris Pine will reprise his role as Wonder Woman in the upcoming film Wonder Woman 1984. Steve is a detective who introduces Wonder Woman to the man's world. He is also the love interest of Wonder Woman's character Diana. The film was a huge success and received a great deal of positive feedback. Several members of the audience were in a state of shock and sadness after Pine Steve Trevor died in Wonder Woman. Chris Pine is an agnostic who does not adhere to any religious beliefs. Pines identifies as a left-leaning liberal on the political spectrum. Pine has not been married as of 2020, and he has been in a relationship with Annabelle Wallace for the past two years. Pines was arrested in New Zealand in 2014 for driving under the influence of alcohol. He was barred from driving in New Zealand for a period of six months. In the form of reparation, he was required to pay 93 New Zealand dollars. Pine is actively involved in the promotion of elections, and he has released a video in support of the upcoming elections in the United Kingdom. Chris Pine was born on August 26, 1980, in Los Angeles, California, to Robert Pine and Gwyn Pine. He was born in the Californian city of Los Angeles. His father works as an actor, and his mother works as a psychotherapeutic assistant. Previously, his mother worked as an actress before becoming a psychotherapist. Since his childhood, there has been no doubt about his wealth and success. His parents had made a name for themselves in the industry, garnered fame, amassed wealth, and received awards. He grew up with an understanding of how the entertainment industry worked because his parents were actors, and he was used to hearing about new films and scripts. Katie is the name of his sister, who he adores. Visiting film sets with his mother and father was a favorite activity for Chris. Since he was a teenager, he has had a passion for acting. Sports were also a passion for Chris Pine. After high school, he decided to divert his attention away from sports and devoted exclusively to acting. With a BA in English from the University of California, Chris Pine went on to study acting at the American Conservatory Theater, where he received his training. Chris Pine was not interested in discussing his net worth. His first major role was in an independent film titled Confessions, which followed minor roles on television shows such as ER and CSI, Miami. Following that, he starred in a television movie titled Surrender, Dorothy. In the film Just My Luck, he co-starred with Lindsay John. Jake Harden was played by Chris Pine in the film. During the year 2006, he also appeared in two other films, Blind Dating and Smoking Aces, which were both released. He played the lead role in the play The Atheist, which was performed in the theater. In the 2008 film Bottle Shock, he played the lead role of Bo Barrett, who was a major character. Chris Pine managed to take the audience by surprise with his outstanding performance. 
Immediately following his performance as James T. Kirk in the 2009 film Star Trek, Pine's celebrity skyrocketed. He received well-deserved critical acclaim for the role, as well as a large and loyal fan base. Following this, he was approached for a number of roles. In order to promote this film, he appeared on a number of talk shows, including Saturday Night Live. In 2010, he appeared as a lead in the film Unstoppable. This film was a critical and commercial success, with critics praising Pine's performance. According to the press, he is an A-list star in the making. In the 2013 film Star Trek Into Darkness, Chris Pine reprised his role as Captain Kirk, who had previously appeared in the original series. In 2019, Chris Pine co-starred in the critically acclaimed film I Am The Night, which also starred Patty Jenkins. He also appeared in the documentary Star Trek that was released the same year. He will appear as Steve Trevier in the upcoming Wonder Woman 1984 film, which is scheduled to be released in 2020. Violence of Action, Newsflash, and Don't Worry Darling are among the films in which Pine will appear in the near future. Unlike most people, Chris Pine is not interested in social media. When he was interviewed, he admitted that he was aware of such a thing. His Instagram account, on the other hand, was created by his fans to share their updates with him. Chris Pine does not create any Facebook or Twitter accounts, and he does not appear to be interested. Chris Pine purchased a 2,200-square-foot house in Los Angeles from Jason Lee for $3.104 million US dollars in order to accommodate his lavish lifestyle. Pine has starred in a number of iconic roles in a variety of films and television shows, and as a result, he has amassed an estimated net worth of $30 million US dollars. Despite the fact that it is no longer summer, Los Angeles, California, will almost always provide pleasant weather in which to display your convertible car. Additionally, Wonder Woman actor Chris Pine took his classic car out for a spin while spending time with his pit bull, Wednesday Weld. Originally from home dog LA's North Central Animal Shelter, the actor adopted the dog in 2016, and the two have been the best of friends ever since. In addition, Pine's dog gets to go for a ride with him in a pretty sweet vehicle. He drove around in the actor's Porsche 356 Speedster with the pit bull casually sitting on the passenger seat while they stopped for coffee. In production from 1948 to 1965, the Porsche 356 was the car that kicked off the Porsche dynasty and served as a forerunner to the brand's legendary 911. The 356 Speedster version of the car was introduced in 1954 and became an instant success. Porsche produced a total of 3,676 examples of the model from its introduction until the end of production, with sales reaching a peak in 1957 when the Germans sold 1,171 vehicles. Under the hood, there was a 1.6-liter flat-four engine mated to a four-speed manual transmission that sent power to the rear differential. Chris Pine was dressed casually in a gray hoodie and black shorts over black leggings while driving around with his dog, as you can see in the photos below. Besides the 356 Speedster, Chris Pine also owns a Porsche 911 T, a Mercedes-Benz SLW 13, also known as the Pagoda, a Jaguar D-Type, an Alfa Romeo Giulietta Spider, and a Hyundai S2000, all of which are considered classic cars by enthusiasts. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.